Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we have the Huawei Ascend D2. This is the successor of the D Quad, which was just released a few months ago. But this should actually be out this month and then next month, March, internationally. So what we have here is a 5-inch smartphone. You can see that Huawei has some really interesting customizations for software. So we can actually kind of, you know, pull into this, have a look around. It's a 1080p gorgeous display. Um, it's running a 1.5 gigahertz quad-core processor. Um, yeah, it's the K K3 V2, so it's Huawei's own. There's some interesting software customizations. You can see you can pull that up. Now, there is no app tray, so if you open the social uh, and you push this, this is kind of the closest thing that we're going to get to an app tray, so you can add or subtract that way as well. Now, if we take a quick look around the system, you can see down here on the bottom we have a headphone jack. There's a microphone. Around here we have a volume rocker and a power button. Around the top we have our SIM card slot, and we have our micro... USB for charging. Around this side we have nothing else. On the back we have an 8 megapixel shooter with a LED flash. Now what's kind of interesting about this cam or this uh, this not camera, this phone is that it comes with 32 gigs of internal memory and uh, no SD card slot for expansion, but the display is gorgeous. I believe it is a LCD HD display. If I'm wrong, please leave a comment. They're sketchy on some of the specs. Today, but I mean, it is a very gorgeous display. So, this has just been a quick look at the Huawei Ascend Mate, or at least Huawei Ascend D2. I am Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks. Thanks again to Ford.